Why do shipping companies need vessel anti-fouling coatings? And how much fuel do they lose if the hull is in bad condition? Welcome to Maritime Safety Talks channel, your source for insightful content on maritime safety and compliance. Ships after a long time operating at sea, their underwater bottom will be invaded by seaweed and other marine microorganisms they attach to the hull propellers and many underwater parts of the ship, reducing the ship's performance, most notably reducing the speed and increasing the cost of oil fuel to operate the ship. The application of a special coating and regular repair of the hull to combat clogging of the underwater part of the ship with algae and shells is costly. However, due to the poor quality of anti-fouling coatings, the shipping company may lose significantly more. All the time shipping faces the problem of fouling the underwater part of the ship with an algae, seashells, and other marine life. The ocean is a real living organism, especially well-growing algae and coral in the tropical zone. Ships that walk in the Indian Ocean are most susceptible to hull fouling. Previously, ships were cleaned from organic seams by hand. With the help of special scrapers. Otherwise, the vessel could quickly rot and let flow. How do ships' holes protect today? The modern paint industry has come up with special anti-foiling coatings. These coatings exist in different types designed for different hulls depending on the tasks and type of vessel from the area of navigation, etc. Type of ships today, several types of paint do not allow living organisms to develop on it. Typically, the composition of such paint includes copper particles. Back in the time of sailing shipbuilding, the bottoms of the ships were sheathed with copper sheets to slow down the rot of the tree. There are also paints with zinc content or echonaea as a biocide. It disrupts photosynthesis in algae, which reduces the amount of mucus and weeds on the bottom of the ship. But any paint wears off sooner or later due to friction against the water. Therefore, it is necessary to repair the ship and to paint it again every three to five years. If you tighten with repair, then any modern vessel will be covered in a layer of living plants and getting rid of them will be more difficult. In reality, the losses are quite serious due to losses in the energy efficiency of the vessel. The vessel's hull becomes rough and its streamness falls. How much do the shipping companies lose on the low quality of the vessel's anti-fouling coatings? Companies carried out long-standing research that proved that the use of anti-fouling coatings for 60 months did away with reduced loss of stroke approximately by 4%. Taking into account that compensating for a percentage reduction in the speed of travel requires a 3% increase in fuel consumption, the total fuel economy was more than 10%, a saving of more than $150,000 per year in fuel. These indicators are also confirmed by Marine Digital. The fouling of the ship's hull is one of the key parameters affecting fuel consumption from 7% to 12%. 
The Vessel Performance Monitoring and Fuel Optimization System, FOS, being developed at most companies collects data from the ship on five key parameters affecting fuel consumption. Hull condition, engine trim and draft, weather condition, vessel speed, and processes data through a machine learning network and provides recommendations for managers of a shipping company in cloud-based interface. Such recommendations may be, for example, building an optimal route due to weather conditions or notifying the need to clean the hull. Surprised by this story? Hit the like button, subscribe to Maritime Safety Talks for more maritime insights, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't miss our next deep dive into another fascinating maritime insight.